I've been trying to tell you guys. Pendulum just the best deck. Tell me how many decks you know that can clear the full Drytron board without side decking just with Pendulum cards. None of them. Only Pendulums. Because finish the sentence for me in the comments. What's the best deck? Pendulum, baby. So today's video is going to showcase how to destroy an entire Drytron board without side decking just with the beauty of Pendulums. You guys are excited for this video. Make sure to smash the subscribe button. Also, make sure to go to tripgaming.com to get the beautiful Celine playmat. There's only three left. Get yours now, because they're going to sell out. So get yours now, baby. Hey! Also, make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. Let's get started on Pendulum's absolutely obliterating Drytron. Let's go! <laughs> Time to showcase greatness. Now, I'm gonna fast forward while my opponent does his entire turn. Cause I don't care about Drytron. I care about Pendulum. If you guys see my hand, you're gonna notice one card, an imposter. That's Fairy Tale Luna. What is Fairy Tale Luna? What is this card, Triff? Why are you playing Fairy Tale Luna in your Pendulum deck? Well, I don't know. Maybe because it's like a fucking plus seven by turn three and it destroys your opponent's entire board. You're gonna, gonna witness right now, this this is not possible. It's not possible without Fairy Tail Luna. It's not. He's put my opponent's playing the Dragoon version here, which is a very classic version. He thinks he's winning automatically. He does, in fact, he's a very good player. Look, this guy has like 20 cards in his hand. But 20 cards ain't enough for Fairy Tail Luna, baby. Fairy Tail Luna is gonna single-handedly obliterate this board. So, he could have gotten rid of Anaconda here. He doesn't. He thinks this is enough. He thinks he's going to go Beatrice here. Look at this shit. Oh my god, look how many gates this guy's going to have. Beatrice add. Look at this. I even draw two normal summons. I draw Luna and Blue Boy. I draw two normal summons. No Servant, no Mastery. No Servant, no Mastery, no Sir. I don't need those cards. All I need is Luna. In the words of Max Kellerman, with the fate of the world on the line, Martian's got the death beam down. I want Luna, fairy tale Luna, Iguodala. If you guys see his hand, he has double Herald of Orange Light, double Diviner of the Herald, two Dry Trunks for follow up, and he does not want to reveal to me that he's playing the Dragoon version because. When I hand trap and pull side deck is what he thinks. He doesn't want me to know that he's playing that version. I'm playing against five negates here. Five negates. Well, no fucking problem. Normal summon fairy tale Luna. Activate effect to add a card from my deck to my hand. I'm trying to search reflection of Endymion. He's going to negate it right away as he should. And then I chain Luna's effect. I chain Luna's second effect. To bounce Luna back to my hand. To bounce the ultimateness back to his hand let's put this in retrospect here how many decks and boards end on something that they play in the extra deck of like two or three of literally zero he faced tri-brigade appalooza they don't fucking play two appalooza normal summon luna activate effect to add chain uh, activate appalooza chain luna to bounce appalooza back to your hand bouncing the luna back to my hand pendulum summon luna activate its effect again is this effect once per turn hell no this card's insane so what did ultimus just do one Luna got rid of two two negates from ultimateness. Fantastic. Good job, Fairy Tail Luna. You did your job. Next, let's scale Magical Abductor. He's using a very strong logic here. He's thinking, okay, Herald of Mirage Lights, if he somehow magically gets three spell counters, negates spell effects. All right. I'll just re rely on this one. I'll rely on Herald of Mirage Lights. Sure. All right. Activate Magical Abductor. Oh, here, Ultimatus. I'm going to negate everything. Activates Ultimatus. Is he going to negate? No, he's like, no, no. I only have two left. Let me, let me be very safe with my negates. Okay, sure. Be very safe. All right, that's one counter on Magical Abductor. Activates Public Knowledge. His reasoning? Uh, well, you know what? You're not plusing. I'll just act, I'll just negate anything that's important. All right, sure thing, buddy. All right. We're two counters now on Magical Abductor. He has two negates left here. Fairy Tail Luna cleared the entire half the negates. All right. 
scale magical abduct scale magic servant demon well if he doesn't negate this i just pendulum summon a jackal and he loses all right well he has to negate this or else he loses all right activate magician's restage this a special blue boy or magister what could this do and three counters on magical abductor if he doesn't negate the magical abductor via herald of mirage lights this duel's over for him so what's he do he negates it because this negates effects as well all right no problem all right well restage of uh cerberus effect so i don't draw this jackal jackal effect special cerberus all right restage effect special blue boy wonder one trip why do you play wonder one Can anyone tell me right now why i play wonder one how about you look at my two draws i draw here that's why i play wonder one what a fucking card <laughs> abductor and mighty master oh my god this is why i play wonder one because pendulum spiral into greatness one draw allure of darkness how many of you play allure probably half of you that play mythical beasts don't even play allure of darkness allure of darkness gave me the necessary cards he needed to negate with ultimateness and and herald right knowledge gave me the wonder one well wonder one just gave me mighty master and an abductor a scale all right well cerberus is at two counters he could well, he didn't negate the cerberus effect clearly he's out of negates for herald stuff clearly he has all drytrons in his hand this is obvious clearly i need to otk him now or else his drytrons will kill me all right sure mighty master effect destroy your board I can kill three cards in the field right now. So what do I do? I specifically destroy, specifically, Link Karibo, which could stop an attack, Mirage Lights, and Ultimateness. I know very well Mirage Lights is gonna be adding him two cards to his hand right now. He has five cards in his hand. I have to be extremely careful. All right, well, Mighty Master gained counters, gained three counters from the destruction, and Abductor had one counter. I'm gonna activate the effect of Mighty Master, but by Cerberus here, to remove three counters from Master, one from Cerberus, banishing the Beatrice. Those who don't know, Cerberus gains the attack of the monster it banishes. 2800 plus 2800 plus 2500 is 8100. And just like that, you destroy a, a Drytron board, a full Drytron board, with only Pendulum cards. Because Pendulum is the best deck. Alright, now we're going to go to game two. Game two. Game one, we killed him. Game two, look at my hand. Lava Golem, the two interruptions he puts up. All I need now is a fucking any card that I could use my Wonder One knowledge or Wonder One on. I need a Jester Confit. I need a Magician Souls. I need a Instant Fusion. I need any level one extender. That's it. And then this duel is over. That game one was miraculous. That game one was miraculous. We killed it with no side cards. Zero. Now we draw one side card. And now in game two, we're going to destroy this whole board again with one side card. All we need is one Jester Soul. This hand's fucking dog shit, by the way. You look at this hand, all right? This hand is fucking dog shit. All we need is one extender. And we don't fucking get the extender. Fucking dog shit fucker. All we have to do, Lava Golem, defeat these, OTK easily. But you know what? That's fine. Such is life. Such is life, guys. Such is life. There's nothing we could do in this scenario. We're going to give him this game. There's nothing we can do. Even if we Lava Golem before, there's nothing we can do. We needed one extender. That's all right. This is what game threes are for. This is what game threes are for. We destroyed in game one without siding. Game two, we got unlucky. Game three, we got unlucky again. This is why I don't like Call by the Grave. I understand it stops Droll, but it stops you too. It doesn't really do anything. We're gonna go Luna here to add Reflection. We need a scale, so Luna works out well. Now, you know what? We're still in a perfect, perfect scenario. We just, all we need now is Crowley to get us a spell book. It's all we need. We need Crowley to get us secrets or knowledge. We summon souls. We get a plus up institution called by send them all. We get so much plus, we draw four cards. We're drawing four cards now. All we need is a 67% chance of Crowley to get a secrets or knowledge. We lose if there's Blue Boy. 
And we got motherfucking Blue Boy, of course. So here we uh, we get a free plus one with Institution. Before we do anything, I'm like, okay. In this scenario, he didn't Ash the Crowley. He didn't Valor the Crowley. He didn't Droll me already. Like, there's no other card he can possibly have that affects me that called by stops. So Souls can freely send both Institution and called by. Very freely. All I need is, you know, give me a good card. Give me like a draw to Give me an Allure. Give me a Desires. A Spellbook of Secrets. A Spellbook of Knowledge. An Upstar Goblin. Fuck, I'll take it into the Void. Give me any draw card here. Soul sends two and gives us the only other two normal summons in our whole deck. We play, we play five normal summons in the deck, boys, okay? We, actually, we play six normal summons in the deck. We play three Fairy Tail Luna, we play two Spellbook Blue Boy, and one Mythical Beast Jackal King, uh, Mythical Beast Jackal. Six of our normal summons, and we have five of them. We have two Luna, two Blue Boy, one Jackal. Five of six in a in a sixty card deck. We're playing a sixty card deck. A sixty motherfucking. Someone pull out the math right now. You're playing a sixty card deck, okay? Who was in probability class back in back when you were in probability class? Sixty cards. Sixty probability sample sample size of sixty, okay? All right. You you draw five cards. You draw five cards. How is it possible that? Out of 60 cards, you have six normal summons and you draw five of them in your opening hand after some searching. I don't understand. I don't understand math sometimes. Math can be so good to you, but math can be so bad to you. Unbelievable. To make matters worse, we get Nibiru. Well, we didn't win the match, but we won the glory because we still destroyed his board without side decking. What does this lesson teach you? This lesson teaches you that fuck math. That works 99% of the time that it works, but it doesn't work when math is not on your side. But it's because you're a pen player, math is always on your side, so don't even worry about it because it's all good in the hood. So, three adductors, servant reflection, mastery, the biggest additions is Luna, which I just recently took out. Why did I take it out? Because I drew fucking five of them! But we kept Wonder Wand in. Because it works out fantastic with the deck. I would advise, as you guys notice, the 40 card version now. I would advise a 40 card deck. Because I want to see my desires. I want to see my mastery. I want to see my servant and my abductor. So we changed the list slightly to make sure that that shit never happens again but luna is still a sick card if you play 50 cards or something put in luna but i'm not trying to draw 10 normal summons blue boy is the ultimate look at him bro he's the best card in the game after servant abductor and souls and mighty master and jackal and reflection and desires and allure and restage anyways this is the list for those who can't afford souls i would highly advise that you uh afford it uh get a job or something uh, work, I don't know, mow some lawns, uh, cut some grass, or kind of say the same thing twice. I don't know. Shovel the snow. Make some side money. Get a side hustle. Get get souls. You need this card. You can't play Pendulum without Magician Souls. You just can't do it. It's too important. Make sure you play Double Blue Boy, Double Secrets. Everyone who's playing Hand Traps is playing Triple Veil or Triple Impermanence. So when they Hand Trap the first Blue Boy, you're like, thank you, bro. And you just go straight into Crowley and you destroy them. So I would advise that you do that. Amano and Denko are insane versus Tri Brigade. It makes that matchup free. All you got to do is draw one of these seven, and it's an auto win. Just draw one of the seven. Scoop, 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 scoop. GG. When you face off against uh, against Drytron, you side in Amano for Amano Dark Ruler and Sphere Mode. So those eight cards. When you summon Amano against Drytron, you and, and Denko, you literally take out your spellbook engine for these specifically. Keep everything in as is. All you do is you take out your normal summons for Amano and Denko. You could keep one blue boy, one secrets, one knowledge. Because it gives Crowley a free search. And then you get secrets knowledge on anything you want. And you have 8 against Drytron, 7 against Tri-Brigade. 
And then it gets random trap decks. You have three Denko, one Reboot, and two Cosmics. That's six. You have three outs to Imperial Order and Anti Spell with double Cosmic and Red Reboot. That's as much as they're siding, and you're going second. And for Drool, you have Instant Fusion and Called by the Grave, which is enough in a 40 card deck. And uh, mathematically, somewhat the same chances of them seeing it because. Uh, all your draw cards could draw into called by so even if they if you go a lure of darkness into called by you now have access to seven cards instead of your opponent was access to five cards to stop their three drolls if they fucking play it a lot of people are cutting draw from their deck now for a variety of reasons more so because they're scared of, of what the penga would do if they if they did play it and this is the extra deck uh classic and that's the deck hope you guys enjoy the deck I'm sad we didn't win that match, but you know what? We still clapped the tri the, the dry trump board, so it's all good. He got lucky. We're gonna destroy him the next one. You don't always draw 17 normal summons. Hope we're gonna enjoy this video. If you guys want to see more pendulum content, check out my Patreon down below where I do coaching and post about pendulums, probably like a lot. And if you guys also want to support the channel, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, and also check out the beautiful Celine playmats, baby, because they're almost sold out. In fact, they probably are sold out, but go buy them anyways. You can go on TripGaming.com and notice that they're not, not available. And you're going to be a little sad and think, damn, maybe I should have bought it when Trip told me to. And then you can just go ahead and buy the Servant Playmat instead. So get yours now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!